Hello everyone, you're here with Claro Beauty and Life. Uh, my name is Claudia Lara and I am here very excited because today I'm going to do a video of Lisa Eldridge. She's a makeup artist and I'm going to be doing the Ultimate True Velvet Lipsticks. Now, she has come out with over 20 colors by now. She came out like two or three years ago, but these were her originals, the ones she came out with first. This is the Velvet Jazz, the Velvet Ribbon, and the Velvet Morning. I bought it since she came out with them, and then I have bought all her collection. And now she has come out with blushes, highlights, uh, highlighters, and uh, she's coming out with a new foundation, which of course I will buy, and glasses. So she has a full collection now. But when she started, she came out with this three and she included this velvet po pouch, pouch with it. And so uh, she also had different colors of this pouch, but I look at her website now and she still has this one and the three selling in a set. So I thought I would do this video now, if you're interested. Now that I have had them for two years at least, um, I can tell you that I still love them. I love the whole collection. And I always get compliments on these lipsticks. Now, why are they so special? Right now, I am wearing Velvet Jazz, and in case you're curious. And I wanted to start this video with some color in. I didn't want to start it all bare nude uh, because I wanted you to see how fantastic these are. Now, I will be trying all three and I will be doing a swatch. So why are they so special? Um, because she obviously is a makeup artist for a very long time. She's also a makeup collector and not a collector like I call myself a collector because I buy a lot of makeup. <laughs> She's a real collector. The one that collects for like 50 years ago or looks for the old cases or the old type of makeup. And she realizes that some of that makeup, because some of those cases still have makeup in them, uh, we're not the healthiest. They have all these ingredients that we have found out. They're not the best for our skin, etc. Uh, so she's very knowledgeable uh, on the progression of of makeup and and now that she got herself. Oh, she also I think worked for Lancome for many years in the creative process or creative artistic process. And so now she started her line. Uh, she invested her own money. And she takes care of the ingredients. She takes care of the colors. And so uh, why are they so special? Well, because she does a lot of photo shoots for famous people or for creative people. She understands the lighting effect, right? How the lips will appear or how the colors work in front of lighting, uh, reflection, movement. And so she's been, this is her babies, right? And so the reason these are so special, I think in the website she describes that they never look flat. They have a 3D effect. Now she calls them velvet and in the bullet, let me show you the jazz. In the bullet, it kind of looks velvety. I mean, can you see the texture? She even has a, I think uh, maybe a little logo imprinted there. You know, my eyes, no, I think it's just, but see how it is very velvety? Now it's obviously not velvet, but it looks like velvet. And the top doesn't because I already have used it. So when you glide it, it glides like a dream and it feels very creamy. And this is when it started because now matte lipsticks have evolved and they used to be very drying for the lips. And so many brands have evolved. So it looks matte, not shiny, not bright. It's just bold, and uh, but it's not drying to the lips. It feels creamy. Even now, it still feels creamy. And I and I put it a little bit while ago. So uh, they're very nice to wear. They're long lasting, and when you place it in your lips, I guess she makes many different colors. Uh, within this one color to create this one color. So they look um, very original in the lips that you place them. They look 
like they have character. Now, obviously, if I you ask my husband, it's just a red lips. But for those that <laughs> that um, value the different textures of color or that can tell the different textures and, and coloring, to me, it's very refreshing. It's very nice. Uh, and it makes me feel luxurious. Now, when she first came up with them, uh, she didn't have her lip lines, uh, the lip liners that go with them. So she suggests a couple of other brands with them. For example, for this one, she suggested the Lipstick Queen um, on color wine. Now, I did buy all the ones that she suggested. This is one of them. Uh, for now, this is uh, dried up quite a bit. So I think I'm going to retire this one. The lipstick is still perfect. But the lip liner is a little drying, it's a little patchy now. Uh, but it doesn't matter because now she came up with the actual lip liners that go with the actual lipsticks. Now I placed my order and I haven't received them. And I didn't buy all of them, I do have all her lipsticks. Uh, and so I will keep you posted on how those works and how did those works with uh, the lipstick. She mentioned that every lip liner she made that goes with their own lipstick are a tiny little bit darker. And she says, uh, I guess they look better on the lips or they make them more fluffy. I really don't know the behind, I can only imagine. So how do you think about this? This one is the, the Velvet Jazz. Trying to imitate how <laughs> I see YouTubers do it. But you know what? I want to do a little bell here. I mentioned it. Maybe it's annoying, maybe it's not. I'm trying it out. Uh, I mentioned in my other video, which I tried it once, that uh, I love bells. Uh, bells remind me of being awake and, uh, you know, and being here in the now. So I like them. Uh, I did a very light kind of eyes. I did another video showing how I did my whole face. Uh, I used the Quad uh, Soft Cashmere and uh, it's very lovely. It has a little neutral cool, uh, but a little lilac uh, to it. And then I use, this is one of my favorite blushes to use with redder lips. Uh, it would be surprising when I purchased it. I never thought how much I would enjoy this blush. It's not a new blush. This is a YSL. It's a little dirty. I apologize for that. Scratch off because it's been love. Um, I, I would never think that this will look good or that I could use it because it's so bright, right? It looks like more darker tones of skin. But if I use just a little bit, it really brings that redness that goes with the lips and um, it brings me to match the boldness of the red lips. So I really enjoy it. All right, so are we ready to go to the next lipstick? Uh, let me get here, uh, wet. I'm cleaning this up. Can you hear my dogs in the background? All right, so now we're gonna go to um, Velvet Morning. Now, Velvet Morning is a little more orangey than Velvet Ribbon. Let me put it side by side. This is morning. This is ribbon, more red neutral. So morning is a little orange. And I have mentioned in another video, this is one of my favorite uh, lipsticks because when I wear it, it really brings me up. It kind of wakens me up. It kind of brings light to my whole face. And so sometimes I would put a little bit of this with other lipstick colors, just to bring that mm, or that light to my face. It does that effect without actually using this particular color, even though I use that color as well because I like it so much. 
Now, back in the day before she came out with her lip liners, she recommended to use Bobbi Brown Red for this color. So that's what I have and that's what we're gonna wear. So. Oh, this guy is like a dream. And I bought it at the same time as the other one. Now, it's interesting because Lisa talks about using the lip liner after you put the lipstick. I like it before. And sometimes if I forget, I put it after. So there it is. This is Bobby Brown Red. Such a straightforward name. Appreciate it. And look at that. Oh. This color just even brings up my mood. It's just, uh, I'm so happy she called it morning. What do you think? True Velvet Morning. Now, let's do a little swatches of what we tried so far. I'll put the velvet here. I'll do the morning here. And now I'll place the ribbon there. Jazz morning ribbon. So right now I have morning and what do you think? I could actually put a little bit of a peach, um, a little peach blush, so it goes a little bit more with the orange if I really wanted to, but it um, just works. Now, some people feel uncomfortable going with the bold lips in the morning or things like that. It's true, but you can also plot it and make it a little softer. Let's see. In uh, another video, I was playing also with Lisa Eldridge's lipstick and I show a little trick using a different color that is a lot less bold or is a lot more muted because all her colors are like really full bold colors, but a lot muter, at least the velvet, because then she has another one that are more translucent and more uh, every day during the day use it. But the velvet ones, I I show how you can put some on top and that kind of tones down a little bit of that brightness that I'm right here. <laughs> but look at this. I mean, I would use this to work. It's nice. Definitely for a luncheon. Definitely for dinner. Definitely for night. Um... So let's try the last one. Oh, should we do the bell? Hold on. Mm. Remember, reminds us that we are awake. It reminds us that we are here now. Okay, so let me take this lipstick off. I actually don't want to take it off. This happens often with Lisa's lipstick. Okay. All right, so now let's try the last one, ribbon. And without a lip liner first, just like she likes it. I mean, hmm. 
even if I just wanted to put like, look at that. Like just a tiny, a tiny little bit of red. Light it a little bit. Look how beautiful that looks. Imagine that I don't have eyeshadow on and I just want to put a little bit like this. Maybe put a little lip gloss or very lightly. Mm, looks nice. Just lifts you up a little bit, brings a little light, wakens you up. Just a little red, right? But now let's go full blown ribbon. Are you thinking of getting this? Please write me if you are. Actually, write me if you never heard of Lisa Eldridge and you're actually curious or one are interested now. She has a lot of followers. She has her own YouTube uh, video channel here in YouTube where she does a lot of tutorials of makeup. I haven't watched all of them, watch here and there. She's very precise, probably why she's good at what she does. I'm not that precise, as you can tell. And especially when I'm doing my makeup to go out, I don't do so much precision, but I appreciate people that do. There you go. What do you think of this one? So which one is your favorite? Morning, ribbon, or velvet jazz? Do, 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 do. Again, this is a very neutral, I like it, um, but I have found that I use morning the most. And jazz, I haven't heard it, I haven't used it that much, even though I like that kind of darker look. Uh, but she has other colors in her line that I have used most and they're a lot darker, like Decade or Midnight, which I will do a, another video with uh, with her full collection or at least a little more than just the three. But I thought it was important to, to introduce you to her ultimate true velvet lipsticks, the one that started um, this whole, I don't know if to call it trend or admiration or, cause she has so many fans, including me that now whatever she comes with, we buy. Uh, mostly at the beginning, uh, because she invested her own money, things will be out of stock very soon. So all of us that were fun of hers, we hurry to purchase it before it ran out. Now she has brought a lot more inventory. Now they are in stock. And of course, now what gets out of stock are her new things that all of us funds go in and purchase, right? I think I got most of it uh, until now, so I feel very proud of that. <laughs> As if I need it all immediately. But that's part of the fun of becoming a collector. <laughs> and that's why um, I ended up doing a, starting a YouTube channel because the reality is now I have a lot of makeup and I needed to, to justify it somehow other than just my joyful, I want it. So I wanted to share it with you. Uh, use it all, put it in camera, and then I will have to start retiring a lot of it because it's been with me for a little while, not the Lisa Eldridge. All right, guys. Um, so again, you can still get the pouch with the three. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. If you haven't done so, please subscribe. And any comments, any suggestions are welcome. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.